go. Scroll. Two. Three. Oh. Stella Scroll. Five for five. Oh my goodness. You gotta be kidding me. Oh, her money balls. Oh. Ooh. Oh my goodness. You wanna talk about setting the tempo. Scroll on fire. And she's got a good pace. She's got over 30 seconds to kind of finish what she wants to do. Man. I was chatting with Stella earlier. She says, I'm cold. I got to get warm. I don't know if, if I can get warm. I got a shot. She's cooled off a little bit. Usually 15 is good enough to get through on the girls' side. Sixteen. Seventeen. Wow. So Stella Scrow. That's impressive, man. I'm not gonna lie, the first five shots is Spencer out of Sunrise Christian down in Wichita, Kansas. Fielding a boatload of offers. Got offers from Georgetown, Harvard, Missouri, Nebraska, Ohio, Seton Hall, a bunch of them. He did have a Michigan offer, but with Jawan Howard getting fired last week, who knows what's happening with that, right? So Ifosa likes Spencer on the men's side. I like Ishan Sharma. Got my money on Ishan. I got I got Spencer or I got Dom. Well, Spencer's looking good. Man, it's so smooth. You know, this is a guy 6'9 that can shoot the three. 6'9 that can shoot, stretch the floor. Jeez. You know, it's funny, when I saw him as like a 14, 50-year-old, he was playing more of the traditional five. He was playing underneath the hoop. Yeah, he was. Corners. He's got plenty of time. He's got eight seconds left. 20, wow. 22. Oh, 21. Yeah. Oh, 21. Wow. Naya Day from all the way from Calgary. Two for three. In and out. So Naya Dang goes 6 3. G6 3? Yeah. Oh my goodness. She's got to hurry up. She's a little too casual getting to the. She might run out of time. So she needs. She's got to hit some money balls here if she wants to have a shot at this. One money ball. No. So yeah, she's way too slow. She's not gonna get these next ones up. Three, two, and that's it, yeah. Not gonna count. So Naya Dang, I think she was just too casual yeah. getting around. You've seen Stella, she was sprinting between each rack. On before, he's pretty confident, so. Oh, he started a little bit early. One for three. So just one for five on the first rack. His money ball is dead center. All right, he's heating up. So Jovan. Had a whole bunch of offers. University of Texas Arlington, New Mexico State, UC Santa Barbara. He's rated as a four star by ESPN. Three star by 24-7. Now keep in mind, the thing that people, I don't, you guys don't realize, you know all those four-star ratings? It's yeah. mostly like university kids who don't know anything about basketball who do those ratings. Oh, I didn't know that. I'm over here thinking it's like scouts. Like, no. I don't know who watched the game, but no. yes. That's why I always like, it, take it with a grain of salt. What do they have you rated as? To be honest, like, I was up there from a while ago, but I know now, I don't think I'm on certain, I'm on certain, like, draft, draft boards or whatever. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I've been watching the game. It's definitely like a good sign. Yeah. So I feel like that's what I'm also looking at. So we got Delaney Gibb all the way from out close to the United States. Delaney's going to go play at BYU. She's rated as a four-star by ESPN as well. She's going to play in the Nike Hoop Summit April 13th in Portland, along with Toby Fournier. So I've seen Delaney, a part of the All-Canadian Week, the past couple years. Remember when she was just a youngster? Well, three years ago. 
So Gibb at nine, 10. So she one more left, get it off. And 11 for Delaney Gibb. What, you know Phoenix or Felix well? Not, not too much. Not too much. No. Yeah, headed out to play in Colorado. I was chatting with his parents. I said, you know, when you go down and visit, because of Deion Sanders being the football coach, hotels are going to be a hell of a lot more expensive because everyone wants to go to Boulder, especially to in the it. fall during the, the football season. Caceres is a long guard. Please, normally. Well, he can play the one, two, or three at the college level. Yeah, he's like six, seven. He goes six, five, I think. Oh. But he plays, he's got long arms. He plays a little longer than I think his height. You know, he seems taller. All right, let's seconds. So Felix from Montreal. Got to meet his parents at the OSBA Championship. They're in the building. Awesome people. Had a great chat with them. So Felix looking good. 15. Nicely done. So you guys didn't get the chance to see Kelly Olinick from the Toronto Raptors was here having a chat with you guys. What were some of the things Kelly was talking to you guys about? Um, just be, being consistent. You know, he was telling us a bit about his story and how, you know, going into his junior year, I think he broke his shoulder. So like, you know, he was out that whole year. And just the fact of coming back from that, you know, doing what he had to do to get to where he wanted to get to. You know, he was getting recruited late. You know, I feel like he just put in the work. He did anything he could just to get to the level where he wanted to play. So I think that was very important. So here's Alex Anbeset on her money ball rack. Here we go, five. Alexander Bissett, all the way from Quebec City with six. He had offers from Bradley, Drexel, Brown, and Old Dominion. He's rated as a three-star prospect on 24-7. Well, he 0 for 5 on the first rack. That's not a good start. Finally gets one. His money ball rack is dead center. Here's his money ball rack. Oh, he's making up some ground here on the money ball rack. Big time. Oh, he was four or five on the money ball. Oh, so he's found his stroke. He's looking good here, Pantone. Yeah, Dom. He's got to hurry here. He's only got seven seconds to get five shots off. Three, two, ah, 18, that's not bad. But that's her brother. Yeah. I should have known. I definitely should have known. TJ played in the tournament this year. They're winning the American East. I know, maybe she might, she might win this. She's looking good so far. TJ, TJ's a shooter. So maybe it runs in the family. So Sarah's money ball rack is the, the the left angle three. So she's got another rack dead center, and then she'll go money ball. We talk about an athletic family, you know? Like, yeah. Jeez. All right, here's Sarah's money ball rack. She's got to hit at least one of these money balls. There we go. Two. Oh. So she's tied, not yet, one behind Stella. She hits one, she'll tie Stella. Last shot, yeah, ooh, there we go. So she's tied with Stella at 13. So Ishan had a bunch of offers from the Ivy League. I know he visited Yale, but turned that down to head to the ACC. And this guy is just so smooth. So three on the first rack. His money ball rack's dead center. We're stuck on five. 
So here's his money ball rack. Important shots here. One, two, three. And three of five on the money ball rack. So he's in good shape. He's got to hurry a bit. He's running a little slow. Fourteen. Oh, he's gonna catch him. He might catch him. Sixteen. He's got ten seconds. He's got to hurry. Oh, Sharma. Oh, last one. Oh. There we go. Nineteen. So that puts him in second. You know your friends, so it's good. So here's Olivia. She's as good a three-point shooter in game as you'll see in Canada. Yet to get one going. Oh for five. So Olivia's been a part of the national team. Olivia also from out west. So her money ball rack is coming up next. It's the angle. She's got to hurry up. So here's her money ball rack. She's got to hit a couple of these. There's one. And she's, wow, she's going so slow. She's only going to get one shot off. One more, no, that's not gonna count. That's, that shouldn't count. I don't think it makes a difference either way though. Because she's still at 10, she's not gonna get through. Here we go. So Will has gotta get at least 19. Finally gets one, one for five. Will's money ball rack is dead center. Here's his money ball rack. He's got to make some ways here. There's one. Nope. So just two money balls. He's basically got to hit every single shot, so that's him done. Yesterday when I went home, my head was just pounding from the noise in here, you know what I mean? It was so nice when I walked in the gym today and it was like dead quiet, you know? In the dunk contest too? Right. Here we go. So this is the championship round. It's between Sarah Hurley and Stella Skrull. Yes, she's ready. Let's go. So she hit three on the opening rack. I'm sick of this song. <laughs> it's overplayed, you know. So Sarah in the opening round had 13. Both her and Stella were tied. So Sarah's money ball rack didn't go too well. She's got to get one more, I think. And there she does, 11. So Sarah goes 11 this time after going 13 the opening round. So how many shots a day do you take as far as practice? You have a number you got to hit? Not necessarily. I know. I know. At overtime, they got like a system over there called the Noah. So it's like you basically just turn it on and like it tracks like your arc, like it tracks everything. Oh wow! Like your shot, like how you're missing. If you're missing to the left, if you're missing to the right, like everything. That's crazy. And like they also track how much shots you take. So where are the overtime games broadcast? Um, so I think in the whole season, I think it's like 20 games that they they broadcast on um, Amazon Prime. Oh no way! Okay, cool. Yeah. I mean, I want to get down. I want to do some of those games, man. That's good. So here's Sharma. He's at 17 already. Oh my gosh! He did well on his money ball rack, which was dead center. 18. 
And Sharma, he's got about 10 seconds here. 19. He's on 19. 20. 21. Oh! So he's stuck on 21. 10. Three. Nice. Two, oh, yeah. All right, here's Stella Scrum now. Burner Boy was in Toronto a couple weeks ago. Come, my son's friends. Well, my son's oh. 20. He plays university you soccer. Guys, you guys there's Stella. So Stella started off five for five the first time, just one for five. On this, oh, now she's heating up on her money ball. They're, they're not putting enough on the. There we go. Yeah. That's seven, eight. She's got to get eleven at least to tie Hurley. She's got a little cold. She's got lots of time. She could slow down here. Okay, good. This could tie. There she's tied for the win. For the Game. win! Game time. Stella Scro, your 2024 All Canadian three point champ. 13. 14. She's at. He's got to get the 21, remember, to tie Ishan Sharma. So Spencer's money ball racks dead center again. He's ice cold here. Well, he's got one. He's got to hit money balls. Nope. He's done, he can't do it. Because even if he hits all 10, he's only at 15. So Ishan Sharma is just academic right now. It's already been decided. Ishan Sharma, your 2024 All-Canadian three-point champ. And there you go. A little anticlimactic to end that, you know? You want to end on the big shot? Yeah. Ishan Sharma, the Virginia commit. So I was two for two on that. You were. Here we go. So I'm, I'm like over four. Eight million bucks was his last contract, so he's made over 100 million in his career. You want to make 100 million? Play defense. So. Yeah, no, I feel like definitely at the next level. Like obviously in high school, you're probably going to be the, you know, the top player, you know, the number one option on your team. But just as well. As